maybe putting up a new garage door opener uh, here in the next couple of days. And that got me thinking on my old garage door opener on the other door uh, that uh, I'd like to extend my range. Uh, I'm a ham radio operator, KC9ZXE. So when it comes to ham radio operators, we like fooling around with antennas. Uh, on my jack shaft opener, I don't quite have enough distance. Uh, you have to be right close in the driveway. For my home link to work, it seems to work on the other remotes better, but I've got a home link built into my car. Uh, and I'd like to make that work better. Uh, I happen to have a piece of uh, 330 seconds uh, steel wire that's copper coated. You could use uh, 12 gauge copper. Uh, and uh, what I'm going to do uh, is make me an antenna. Uh, I've got a little bend in mind for how I'm going to mount mine, but. Uh, I'm going to take this end, I put a uh, butt connector on here and soldered it onto my uh, piece of wire. Uh, I drilled a hole in the wall. This is going to go out of the wall. And uh, when I get it outside the house, I'm going to put a bend in it uh, because the uh, uh, of the polarity of the uh, signal, the antenna needs to go up and down. And, uh, not ver or not horizontal. It needs to be a vertical antenna. Uh, if your uh, garage door happens to be further away from uh, your opener, happens to be further away from the wall, you could t attach a wire from here and attach it to the antenna uh, that you had on your uh, garage door opener. But in my case, it's a jack shaft opener, so it's going to be right up next to the wall. I'm six inches from the wall, uh, and I'm going to put a little uh, clip right here uh, to hold my orientation so that this doesn't slide in and out or rotate. Uh, and I've used some heat shrink here, and I'm going to put another piece. Uh, my wall is 10 inches thick. I'm going to put another piece here, and that'll insulate my uh, antenna uh, from touching the sheet metal. Uh, my home is a barn. Uh, I've got metal lining the inside of my garage and the outside of my barn and the metal is grounded uh, so therefore uh, that's why my particular uh, garage door opener does not have great range uh, because my whole house is a Faraday cage. So uh, I'm going to do some heat shrinking on this, measure it out and uh, find out where, it go, where it's going to go. Uh, and also put my mark where I'm going to want to bend that here in a little bit. And, uh, and then I'm going to uh, stick that through the wall and hook it up. And we'll show you that when we get there. So this is my LiftMaster uh, opener. Uh, this is the antenna wire. I drill, drill a hole in the wall right here. I've got my insulation, uh, heat shrink. Uh, here on my antenna. My antenna is going to slide right through the uh, opening here and I've got to find the hole at the other side. Got me a little L bracket that I'm going to put on right here. To keep that located.
I'm going to strip back that wire, put it in that butt connector. And then crimp that wire in there. If you wanted to, you could solder that wire in. Uh, I don't think that's going to be needed. Uh, and then we'll go outside, measure out a little bit, put a bend in that, just eyeball the bend, uh, and uh, finish making that antenna. So, we stuck that wire out, got it uh, kind of through here, put a bend in it uh, just a couple inches outside of the wall. It worked out perfect uh, for the height here. Uh, it fit right in one of these little vent holes in my soffit. Uh, I put a little silicone around the top there and around where it came through the house to waterproof it. And uh, I think that'll work out well. I'll show you how I finished it out on the inside there and then we'll uh, hop in the car and see how the garage door opener works. All right, so here on the inside, I'll turn this around here where you can see we went in here, we siliconed around the hole and around our little bracket we had put in there with the screw in it. And uh, this is where we crimped and we ended up soldering that just because I can't hardly not solder a wire. Okay, so we're driving down the road now. We're at the corner uh, of the intersection that we live on. The house is right here on the corner. We're gonna give the garage door opener a try. Let's see how she does. Not quite there yet. Let's scoot up here and see what we get. Well, it does work from the road now. Uh, it doesn't uh, uh, have to be right in the driveway before it starts to work. Uh, I don't know, we'll have to see if we can do any better. Show it closing. From there, it uh, closes from, uh, from the street yet. Um, and uh, I think that's gonna help uh, next week uh, or so we're gonna have another matching garage door opener for the second garage and uh, we'll get that installed uh, and uh, we'll do a full install video on that for you I appreciate it hope you like subscribe share oh wait we still got to show you the uh, remote work